Hey, it's Dwayne from Improvisations with an improv learning quick tip for managers who access and edit their employees' schedules. Previously in another quick tip, we talked about how we add and delete schedules and different ways to do that. Well, this is really another way that you can do that. It's really very simple, but I didn't talk about it in the last quick tip because it's unique. It's, it's not something all Kronos customers use. Still, I think you should know about it, and it's called a shift template. It's incredibly simple to use. So please don't blink. We're only going to be here for a short time today. Let's go ahead and get started by accessing the schedule editor for our employees. We see that Clyde Vaughn doesn't have any schedule on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, or Friday. And we're going to apply some shifts today using a shift template. Now when I teach this in a class, I often ask students what happens when they copy something on a spreadsheet program. And they tell me they're not sure, or a few of them tell me, oh, it goes on the clipboard. Yeah, the clipboard, that's right. Well, when you think of a shift template, I want you to think of that clipboard because all of the possible shifts that you can apply are going to be saved as a shift template for you to apply just like the clipboard in your spreadsheet program. So let's dig in and talk about how this is done. And again, don't blink. We see Clyde has no shift on Monday and we want him to work from 11 p.m. on Monday to 7.30 a.m. on Tuesday. So we're going to right click on the cell. We're going to choose Insert Shift Template the insert shift template dialog box appears and you see all of your shift templates now if you don't see a shift you generally use here you want to contact the system administrator to see if we can get that shift added but we have the shift we want it's shift E so we're going to select that by clicking on it and then we're going to click OK and there's the shift now are we done I know all of you out there are screaming no no why aren't we done because we have an orange page header and that tells you we have unsaved changes. So of course, we're going to go up and click the blue Save button, and our changes are saved. Now, remember, just like when you're copying and pasting shifts, that you can't apply one shift template to multiple cells. I can't click and hold my Control key. The system will not allow me to do that. See? You can't see me hold my Control key, but trust me, I am. I can only apply the shift to one cell at a time. And the process is the same. So you can use shift templates to apply shifts just like you can in cell edit, just like you can copy and paste. So what's the advantage of shift templates? Well fundamentally in the basic scheduler the only advantage is reducing the amount of errors you have when applying schedules because you're just clicking on the shift that you want rather than having to type it in and possibly fat fingering something or mistyping something and getting the wrong time. So that's the advantage of shift templates. And that's it. Uh, I hope this is useful to you. Talk to your team. See if it's something that may be more useful than the way you're applying shifts now and something that you can use going forward. I want to take this time to thank you again, and I want to ask you to please fill out that incredibly short survey that I've been talking about with every one of these quick tips. We really want your feedback. We really appreciate your feedback. It helps us determine what we're going to do in the future. Thanks for watching, and make it a great day.